Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pets Event. This one is going to be a bit special. It's not going to be a full session, it's more like a quick heads up, something you need to be aware of. So, we are going to look at something that probably caught a few teams off guard. At least it, I, it did with me, because we're going to talk about the latest vulnerability in Savage. And let me explain to you why this vulnerability matters, because this vulnerability contained a critical flaw. Somehow, a special crafted archive could crash the entire system. No tricks, no complex exploit. You just open the 7 zip file, the archive, and the whole machine goes down. And if that happens at scale, yeah, that's going to be a big problem. And somehow it brings back memories, well, memories, it's more like a nightmare of the crowd strike incident, right? But just to be clear, this issue, this vulnerability, affects every version of 7-zip before version 25. So if you are on 25, well, it's all right, right? So if you ever deployed 7-zip, I guess you already know it, but it doesn't update itself. No built-in updater, no prompt, no notification. So unless someone installs the update, the 25 update manually, it just sits there, vulnerable. So if you didn't update it to the latest version, it's vulnerable. And I guess, let's be honest, because 7-zip is everywhere. Dev machines, build systems, packaging tools, most of them installed and forgotten. But again, this issue isn't just about 7-zip. This is what happens with third-party apps in general. They don't get the same attention as Windows updates. The real problem is this. Patch management for third-party apps is usually disconnected from any proper vulnerability management process. If your security team is doing vulnerability assessments and your IT team is still manually pushing updates, yeah, that's a big gap, a gap that needs to be closed. And it means you're constantly behind on patching vulnerabilities that actually matter. So when something like this 7-zip vulnerability goes public, most teams are already behind. They are figuring out what's installed, what version, and how to patch it. And I guess that's where Patch Map C comes in. We type patch management directly into your vulnerability management strategy. Especially when you combine it with our latest SVE Insights tool. That SVE Insights tool breaks it down. What the vulnerability is, which version, and which versions are affected, and of course how to fix it. Whether you're on IT or in security, you get the info you need without digging through the SVE database listing or vendor items, which I often did before we got the SVE Insights tool. And the SVE Insights tool shows you the 7-zip SVE right there. It maps prior prioritized and ready to act on. But I guess more importantly for our, our customers, it's already fixed. We had version 25 package and ready the same day it was released. And if you are using Patch PC, that update was already installed automatically. No packaging, no manual deployment, no user interaction. Just the way it should be. Well, let me show you in a quick demo how that looks like. So, demo time it is then. I already ensured that I opened up our Patch PC cloud portal. And as you can see, 7-zip is already deployed to our Intune tenant. And of course, it already, of well, it now mentions that it's already on version 25. But if we go back to the past events, we will notice pretty quickly that the deployment of 7-zip was updated by the scheduled synchronization. And with it, it was updating, updated from the previous version to 25. So with after deploying the app within a matter of time, of course, if we used some update rings and if the device is in a proper update ring, we will notice that 7-zip will be automatically updated without us doing anything because Pesma PC ensured that 7-zip was automatically updated. So if you're still dealing with this kind of stuff manually, book a demo. We will show you exactly how we handle it and how fast we can take the pressure of your team. And if you want a full breakdown, also check out our full patch and rent episode, me and Maurice, 
did and recorded about especially this situation. So feel free to check out the link, which is in the description. And I guess this is exactly why you need to patch my PC. So see you next session. Join over 8,000 organizations that trust Patch My PC to keep 25 million devices up to date. It's secure, automatic, and built to scale. See for yourself. Click the link to book a live demo with a Patch My PC engineer now.